Welcome back, this is Tridis with another episode in the LA Rams franchise. This week, it's week four in the third season of this franchise, and we're facing the Dallas Cowboys. A very tough team looking at the overalls, and I'm sure an even tougher team when it comes down to the individuals. We just played them in the Snowhawks franchise, and that was a tough one. So let's see how we can fare against them with this uh, LA Rams team. Weekly awards, we've got one for George Kalaftis, our left edge with eight tackles and four sacks, which is an amazing result. And uh, yeah, just really great result here. Uh, NFC defense uh, player of the week. Very happy with that. As we're gonna head into a press conference uh, regarding QB1. Coach, your team has played really well in the early part of the season and is off to a hot start. How much of that is because of Tua Tagovailoa? I'm gonna praise him here a little bit. Where he goes, we follow. A lot of what we do and what we're capable of as a team is put on his back. And I think he deserves a ton of credit for the job he's done in leading us to a victory so far. Beat the Cowboys and have 300 plus passing yards with Tua Tagovailoa. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be difficult, maybe, but okay, here we go. Uh, we're going to try to do that, of course. Let's take a look at the player negotiations. All right, last week we tried to sign Cam Akers for a seven-year deal. He declined that because he wanted a better salary, so let's see if we can get him with a little bit higher. All right, offer is perfect. Can't wait for next year. All right, that's positive. We've signed our future halfback, 94 overall, 24 years old. Actually not that expensive, so I'm quite happy here. Regarding the wide receiver Cooper Cup, uh, this is a difficult one because I feel like we need to, uh, we need to improve the offer quite a bit here. Um, we can tie him down for below or just around 17 mil uh, on the cap hit. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just not very happy with this, to be honest. Um, it's a lot of money and I'm really starting to look towards other players that would slot in quite quickly. Uh, maybe we can change things around a little bit here, get him on a different role. Uh, yeah, just but we're gonna offer him contract here what about a shorter contract that's going to be putting more on the cap of course can we tie this down with uh, with a lower salary and a shorter shorter deal so that is with us for two years let's see okay i think this is going to test our free agency all right that is that is something that we'll have to that we'll have to take into consideration next week. Let's see if we can offer him another deal. If not, I think I'm gonna go for another wide receiver here uh, because if we lose him, we will be forced to look into free agency and we might not get a good candidate there. So that is a bit worrisome. Yeah, let's take a quick look at the roster. We've got Dak Prescott in here, superstar X-Factor quarterback, 95 overall, fifth overall quarterback, truly elite quarterback that we're facing here. He's just so good under pressure, breaking sack, short accuracy, medium, deep throw power, awareness, throw on the run. He's quick ad and, and agile, so this is just, this is gonna be difficult to, to, lock, to limit him. Will Greer, Anthony Richardson, Ezekiel Elliott, that's another superstar X-Factor on the squad of the Cowboys here. Number 8th ranked halfback. Yeah, he's just just a fantastic player and uh, very difficult to limit. Zach Evans and Sebo Olonilua are uh, behind him. Fullback is Reggie Gilliam. Wide receiver CD Lamb. Michael Gallup. Chris Olave. Let's see. He's a normal death trade. 81 overall. Looking quite solid. I'm not quite sure if he really went to the Cowboys. No, no, no. He went to the Saints. Yeah, he went to the 
uh, New Orleans Saints and then joined up with the Dallas Cowboys only recently. We've got Demon Demas in there and Xavier Hutchinson as well. Quite a tough wide receiver room to be honest. Tight end is Dalton Schultz, Joshua Wireless, the backup, and Steven Sullivan as well. And again, very solid players in there. Definitely a solid 23 year old here. Left tackle Tyrone Smith, 94 overall superstar. Number four ranked left tackle. Josh Neiman behind him. Left guard Tyler Smith. It's a normal death rate, 78 overall. Very, very solid uh, guard here. Wolverine, a rookie behind him. Center is Tyler Biadas. I used him in one of my rebuilds. I'm not quite sure which one that was, but yeah, he's just a very, very well-rounded center. Uh, Chris Skillin, a rookie behind him. Then Zach Martin, 97 overall superstar death trait, number one ranked right guard. All right, that O-line is tough. Eddie Morris behind him, a rookie. Terrence Steele is the tackle. And then we've got Morgan Moses. Take a look at Terrence Steele here. Uh, strength, run block, run block, power, awareness, impact blocking. Yep, yeah, well-rounded. What about defense? Uh, we've got Demarcus Lawrence, who's going to be coming after us out of Boise State. 31 years old, and then 91 overall. Fifth-ranked left edge player. Yeah, he's going to hurt us for sure. Riley Mills, Gordon McKinley behind him. Riley Mills looks interesting. 74 overall, 21 years old. Interesting. Right edge, Osa Odegizua, there we go, brought it out first try, 25 years old, out of UCLA, 79 overall, and uh, high tackle, high strength, also looks to be quite mobile. Chauncey Golston and Jabari Zuniga, so the edge rushers are going to be difficult. Demarcus Lawrence, of course, uh, and Osa Odegizua as well. D tackles Neville Gallimore, starter of trade, 26 years old, number 40 ranked. D tackle Tristan Hill and Kobe Smith, the backup players. Left outside linebacker Sam Williams, 76 overall. Speed acceleration are really appealing here. Color Fackrell, <laughs> what a name! Solid backup. Leighton Van Resch, yeah, he was a menace last time. Uh, at least with the Portland Snowhawks, he was really hurting us. No way past him. Um, yeah, that was that was a tough one. Um, who else is in there? Jabril Cox and Deshaun McLean. Right outside linebacker Micah Parsons. Is he the best one? Yeah, he's the number one ranked right outside linebacker. Oof. Oof. Yeah. This is going to be a tough one. Miles Alston, rookie corner, Trevon Diggs, superstar, 25 years old, number 10 ranked cornerback. They really have a tough team. Kelvin Joseph, interesting back up here. That's going to be CB2. High speed, acceleration, agility, jumping. All in the 90s. Ugo Amari, Michael Carter the second, and Jalen Armour Davis. It's the lowest ranked corner, but still a very decent looking one at that. Free safety, Darnell Savage, Malik Hooker, 88 overall, speed zone coverage, acceleration awareness, yeah. And strong safety, Jerome Kiersey, Jamar Johnson, and Deshaun Hopkins. What about Jerome Kiers here? High speed, high pursuit, high acceleration. Oof. Kicker is Kaimi Fairbairn and punter is Sterling Hofrichter. So on the defensive game plan, what's the suggestion? Defend the inside run. What do we do? What do we do? This is really tough. Containing him is important. Short pass is the highest rating. But if we focus on the short passing, then uh, the medium and the deep pass are buff slightly for them, defend the outside run, defend the inside run. Yeah, I think it will, I think we're gonna go with this. 
Um, let's just try and limit them as much as we can. But this is this is going to be an insanely tough game for our defense and for our offense as well. Um, it'll be decided by who makes less mistakes. And that's quite simply what we have to aim for. The suggestion here is to go with the run inside, but of course we need 300 passing yards, so that is going to be difficult. But we're going to be going with the run inside. Um, if we can get that going, if we can get a decent lead, then we can always start focusing on the passing. I will not be focusing on that, um, just because it's our game plan goal here. Um, yeah. Is uh, Maurice Smith back again? I don't think so. I think he's still out. Yeah. All right. Game plan goals. Let's take a look through two touchdown passes. Hmm. 250 yards passing. I mean, that is our goal. We need to we need to get that. But we're going to go with the one interception. I think that's doable. Um, what about defense? Pick it off twice. Let's try that. Offensive coordinator, we're gonna go for score two offensive touchdowns. And the head coach, we're gonna go for. Um, reach fourth down, score 30 plus points, allow 70 points or less. I mean, that would be nice, but I doubt we're gonna get that done. Get 450 plus yards on offense. It's gonna be difficult, but. Uh, I think we can we can pull it off. Training results are in. Now, offense is finished, and I see no injuries. I see focus experience, but I see who's that? Uh, Barnett is uh, going to be treated for a quad strain. He's a center, and he's actually from the uh, from the practice squad. So that's no big concern for me. What about defense? I don't want to see an injury here to our crucial players. No, nope. looks good. No injuries here. And uh, we're going to be putting staff points into, into the offensive coach now. Let's see if we can't buff us as much as possible. Boost impact blocking for tight ends. We're going to put it here. Boost run block power for offensive linemen. There we go. What's this down here? Boost pass block for tight ends. Okay, that's good. And then we're gonna go with the uh, for the boost awareness for offensive linemen, and finally the strength rating for offensive linemen by four. So that's the path that we're gonna be going here on the block. And uh, no more points to be handed out at the moment. We've got an upgrade for Amari Barno. We're gonna put that into a speed rusher. 75 now. Acceleration, finesse moves, pursuit and tackle. Kyron Williams gets an upgrade. Elusive back. He's uh, wearing a shoot move, spin move. David Schultz gets an upgrade towards Agile. And then we've got an upgrade that I'm really excited about. Bobby Brown, our D tackle, gets an upgrade. So he's now natural 75 and gets additional block shedding and play recognition. The temporary plus four, he's a 79. That is great. Okay, guys, I think we're done. Um, let's head into the game. Let's think about the Cooper Cup situation after this game. All right, Tua Tagovailoa out onto the pitch. SoFi Stadium filled to the brim. Everybody ready for this exciting game now against the Dallas Cowboys. And uh, here we go, we're first on the ball. What are we going to go with here at our own 25? We will, of course, start by trying to dictate as much as possible. Do we go with the pass play? Let's go with the halfback zone week. Get the run play going as quickly as possible here. Brian Allen, Oof, 24. And is that a fumble? That is a fumble. Jabril Cox grabs the ball. And the Cowboys have the ball at our 24-22. I don't know what that was. That's going to be 
a quick field goal. And I've lost confidence in Cooper uh, in Cam Akers pretty quickly. So let's see. Just in shorter. Tyquan Thornton, Michael Mayer, and Cooper Kappa there. Let's see what we can get going with these guys. Oh my god. Oh my god, and that's another pick. Come on. Brian, Brian Allen steps savage here. 30 seconds played. And we've given them the ball twice. We're behind by 10 points. And I think that was a successful start to the game, right? Oh, that is bad. That is absolutely terrible. What a terrible start. All right, let's rally. Cam Akers. We get the first down. And now it's time to show that we're the home team and what we can do here. I'm gonna go with the halfback zone week now, left hand side again. I need Jonah Williams to do the block towards the left hand side. No space here. Ooh, we almost get out of there as Micah Parsons picks up an injury. Linebacker here. Star linebacker, you could say. We're gonna go with the flipped halfback base now. Left hand side run. Cam Akers. Very reliable usually. There we go. 28. That was uh, Hooker coming across, taking Akers down after a six yard run. And I know we need 300 pass yards, but let's focus on drawing the game first. Okay, no blocks here by the offensive line. And full zone, uh, full momentum now unlocked here for the Cowboys. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Thornton Mayer. Let's see if we can somebody can't get someone going here. I don't know, words are failing you right now. And uh Michael Mayer up the pitch at the 40. Gonna go with a halfback dive. I'm fully aware of their quality of safeties. There we go. That was actually a good run. Solid seven yard pickup. Another inside zone here towards the left hand side. Cam Akers gonna be going for the run here. And a great block here by Justin Shorter coming across. I really like it when the team clicks and, and, and works well. Let's go the mesh spot here. Change things up a little bit. Tycoon Thornton, Michael Mayer are my options here there we go Michael Mayer he's dragged out of bounds here by number 26 that's Savage and the name is Savage not the move was Savage the move was pretty standard to be honest but uh, let's see let's see what we can do we've got a long way to go for those 300 yards but yeah we can always start playing Hollywood later how many yards was that? That was one yard. <laughs> okay. And uh, it's the end of the first quarter. And uh, yeah, those mistakes are costing us. It's making it very, very difficult unnecessarily. As we're gonna go with the cross drag here. Like to get Coop in position, looking for Thornton as well. Two very solid options, to be honest. Nope. Not getting the ball towards Cooper Cup. So let's pick up the field goal. And uh, there we go. Maybe his mind is not with us at the moment. Maybe he's thinking of his next contract. Cooper Cup cannot hold on to the ball. And the ball is between the sticks here. First points on the board for the Rams. Come on, D. And they stop them. That is great. That's great. We're back in the game now. Let us... Let's make the best of that. They just have a really tough defense. It's hard to get through. Oh my god, there's no space here. Just a giant... Bulk full of people smashing into each other. I'm gonna go with the post-wheel drag. 
Justin Shorter in the backfield would be awesome. But Michael Mayer, of course, on the short route. It's a good option as well. <gasps> oh my god, no. Oh my god, no. What the hell was that? Gallimore. Gallimore in there. Tua fumbles the ball. And that is bad. That is hurting us so much. It's so bad. It is so bad. I can't really begin to tell you. I'm really shaking my head here. This is... I, I don't know what to say. These mistakes are terrible. Absolutely terrible. Mayor Cup maybe this time. Can we get someone going here? Come on. And Mayor sheds the tackle. Three players on him in a flash. Taken down here. And let's go to play action cross country here. Justin Shorter, can we get him into the right backfield? Can we hit back at the Cowboys quickly? Aggressive catch. Nope. No chance getting that ball under control. Second and ten now. Cooper Cup, left hand side. Justin Jefferson. Not Justin Jefferson. Van Jefferson, of course. I'm starting to mix things. And again, a fumble. Are you kidding me? Can we please do something here? All right. This is getting preposterous now. Absolutely preposterous. Every hit is a fumble. And we're in the second quarter. 21 points behind. 21 points. And this is starting to piss me off a little bit, to be honest. Because this is not... Uh, this has nothing to do with the team being better. This is absolute BS. That's three hits and three fumbles. That is not, not realistic. Okay, what are we gonna do now? Let's go, let's try a play action cross country again. If we can get him into the backfield, maybe Cam Akers can get free. There we go. Safe catch, out of bounds here, Cam Akers. But did we actually pick up some yards, two yards? That's not gonna be enough. Let's go with a slot cross here. Van Jefferson, my intended receiver. There we go. And of course, going with Michael Mayer here. Gets the ball, holds onto the ball, goes out of bounds here. Play, uh, play action, white cross flood was the play I wanted to go for. We were back in the game. Come on, man. <laughs> Jesus. All right, Michael Mayer, Van Jefferson, or Justin Shorter, everybody. Got good routes actually. And that is good. That's Mayer out of bounds here. Let's go with that first down animation. Two minutes to go in the first quarter. And uh, the second quarter in the first half. Play action crossers. Shorter should get in there. Or Van Jefferson or Cooper Cup. Jump and hold onto the ball. Nope, we drop the ball. That is not good. But at least we're starting to pick up a few more pass yards now. We've got Shorter, we've got Van Jefferson, we've got Michael Mayer. All right, that was a safe throw here for Justin Shorter. We're at the two yard line now. And uh, we're going to do our darndest to really claw back into the game here. I do feel like it's going to be a lost cause, but we're going to try it, of course. And trucking here. Great stuff. But Ryan Allen picks up an injury. As we do get the touchdown, can we stop them? And we can. All right. We're at our own 3 yard line. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
Oh my god. That's a terrible position to be in if I ever saw one. Okay, only 14 points. Never thought I'd say that. Cam Akers, what a great run here. I'm gonna call for a timeout now. Okay, we get some foot fracture. That is bad, but we've got a good backup, so it's a little bit of a consolation. Yes, we're gonna go with double post here. Mayor Shorter, Jefferson, Cup also in there. Let's see who can get free. <clears throat> Safe catch by Cam Akers here. And six yards on the pass here. Stepping out of bounds. Gonna go for verticals now. I'm gonna send Van Jefferson, but I'm looking for Mayor or Shorter. And uh, let's see what we can get going here. What a great run. What a great catch. And we're going to call for a timeout immediately now. Because there's not that much time left. It's 31 seconds. We're at the 39 yard line. And uh, what are we going to do? Do we go for a dagger? I think we're going to go for a dagger. And we're going to be putting Cooper Cup on the slant. Why? Because I want to have him on a shorter route. So I'm going to have Mayor or Cup or Shorter. Maybe. Shorter will be my preferred one. But uh, yeah, here we go. And uh, who do we get? Oh, that was bad. That's a pick. No, 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 no. Come on. But I hate it when the tackle doesn't work. And that's another interception. And we're really, we are really playing badly in this game. So what do we go with here? These plays are pretty useless to be honest. Let's go with an inside zone. 14 points is what we need. And another 160 passing yards. There we go. Nice space for Cam Akers to head into. We go with a play action boot. Do we, do we dare try that? I'm not sure. I'm not sure here. But this has really demoralized me a little bit. 27 pushes Cam Akers over, but we do get a nice pickup here. Quite a few yards. We go with the play action power. Or with the halfback zone, we need to start. The pass plays again, 160 yards is what we need in the second half. But we're gonna go with Cam Akers here, he's gonna step out of bounds at the 49. He's just so productive. It's with a play action by a cross flood. Mayor or Cup. We're gonna be putting Cup again on a tight one. So it's Mayor or Cup. I do hope Cup gets free. What the hell? What the hell is happening? I mean, Cooper Cup is supposed to be my best receiver. And, uh, and that's just picked off. 21 points behind again. Oh, this is infuriating. This is really infuriating. Um, it's gonna be the team. Get the first down again. We're 53 yards currently. And it's uh, starting to feel a little bit like with the Snowhawks. Only that with the Snowhawks, the team is a little bit worse than this Rams team. Tycoon Thornton. First pass to him, but Leighton Van Resch stops us here. As we're gonna be stopped at second and four. Let's go with a slot curl. Mayor or Cup, maybe even Justin Shorter. And we're gonna have to be way more aggressive now. 
Was that in bounds? That would have been beautiful. Nope, third and four. Good that. Ben Jefferson, Cooper Cup, and uh, yeah, long routes. So let's keep Jefferson and Cooper Cup in our sights. That is Cooper Cup. It's going to be pushed out of bounds here. Sam Cosman picks up an entry. Oh, this is not good. Cross drag is our next play. Need to be more aggressive now. That's going to be Cooper Cup or Tyquan Thornton. But uh, Cooper Cup isn't looking to get free. Oh, he is getting free. All right. Beautiful job jumping into the end zone. And uh, of course, team animation. We're going to do some row action here. I don't know what that is. That was actually, that was actually well done. Right, and they strike back immediately. Oh, this, this is a game that we're going to be playing for honor. What about the bench switch? Jefferson, Mayor Shorter. All right, Ben Jefferson cannot hold on to the ball here. I'm going to go with a slot cross. We're going to force the pass plays now, because that is what we need to achieve. All right, nice pick up here by Michael Mayer. And uh, what, what are we going to do next? Do we go for Salem? Do we go for double slants? Let's go for double slants for a change. Cup, shorter. And Jefferson. Options, options. Oh. I'd love for Cooper Cup to hold on to these balls a bit more. It was a difficult one. Double coverage, I know, but that would be good. Shorter or Cup. Secure catch was slapped away. Third and ten. As the Cowboys start celebrating already. Ah, I'm not happy. I'm really not happy. This is... Um, you can see that, that our production isn't bad. 17 points on the board. So we should really have been a bit more, a bit more dangerous, a bit more productive here. Shorter and Jefferson. Why is that overthrown so badly? Please let that be a defensive flag. Alright, thank you. We're gonna take that. It's not gonna change anything about the game. But let's feel a little bit better. <laughs> right, we've got Michael Mayer here on the tight end run. We've got Thornton. Push back here, 3 minutes 27. And uh, quite a tough hit here on Tycoon Thornton. Cooper Cup in the backfield would be fantastic. Or Tycoon Thornton, the short one. Can we please get that? Can we please get the ball towards Cooper Cup? But it, it wasn't bad. It was not a bad pass. I stand by that. And each time when we stopped them, we're dragged back so far. So far. It's an absolute nightmare. <sighs> nope. Well, we have to acknowledge this team is just above us at the moment. Or we're, we're just not good enough at the moment. Um, our performance... And again, picked. That was the right player. Yeah. And similar to the Snowhawks game, <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to be over. Eight turnovers, man. Eight turnovers. 
that is that is hurting me so badly. And Jefferson, please jump, please jump, please do something. And another interception for Trevon Diggs here. Yeah, finally, finally it's over. What a terrible game. What an absolutely horrendous game. That was. Absolutely horrendous. 30 attempts, 16 completions, 245 yards. I mean, <laughs> this is a good result. But even higher completion rate than Dak. One touchdown only, six interceptions. Average yards, 8.1. That is good. That is really good. Statistics are better than Dak Prescott's, apart from the, uh, from the interceptions. That is, that's horrendous, man. That's really horrendous. Ezekiel Elliott wasn't, uh, wasn't able to be stopped. Broken tackles, eight yards after contact, 11. Um, Cam Akers was better um, in my mind. He had more yards per carry on less attempts, um, but that fumble was terrible. It's just terrible. Receiving yards, Michael Mayer, fantastic, 135, Cooper Cup, 58. Yeah, what, what else could we ask for here? But uh, those fumbles, those fumbles are, are a nightmare, absolute nightmare. And yeah, I'm George Kyle left. This was great again. Three tackles for loss. Ernest Jones and Aaron Donald. But <laughs> those interceptions killed us. Absolutely killed us. Kiersey, Trevon Diggs, Darnold Savage. Yeah. Nothing more to add. Nothing more to add. And those three fumbles by Demarcus Lawrence, Malik Hooker. Kelvin Joseph. Yeah. Upgrades for Emil Ekior Jr. We're gonna put that into power. We need our offensive line to be tough. So awareness and run block power. And Ryan Allen would get an upgrade as well. Agile is out with a foot fracture for four weeks. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. We're gonna have to reshuffle our offensive line. Okay. <laughs> Let's check in here. I really felt like good about our offense. I really felt like good about our chances this week, but it didn't go our way. We didn't pick up the win. Don't worry, there's still a lot of season left. Give it 24 hours, then put it in the rear view and start getting ready for the next one. Okay. Are we getting something out of that? Nope. No positives there. No positives whatsoever. Pick up an injury for Brian Allen. That's the second uh, offensive line player that's injured for weeks. But we've got a good replacement. So that's that's at least a positive. Maurice Smith is out with an abdominal tear. So we've got two injuries at our O-line. And uh, yeah, you can tell from my voice. I'm a bit disappointed at that because I feel like we could have gotten more. We were really, really good. We got 326 offensive yards if you look at the left at uh, the right uh, we scored those touchdowns but we almost made those 300 yards didn't think that we would be able to do that but yeah no chance no chance there uh, those fumbles killed us so quickly and it was over in the first half to be honest so yeah gonna scratch that off focus on next week the baltimore ravens are gonna be our opponents and we're gonna attempt to return to our winning ways as we're gonna try to forget this Cowboys week. Hope you enjoyed the episode despite the loss. If you did, please drop me a like and subscribe. That always helps me a lot. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.